We're going to test the quality of the Gorilla 3 glass with um, a very straightforward test which would replicate what this phone's likely to go through in real life. It's going to be in people's pockets, it's going to be having keys all over it, all the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend the day with this phone in my pocket with keys and see whether it gets scratched, what sort of damage occurs to it, um, how it survives that, and we will have a look at it afterwards, have a close inspection of the screen, and see how good it is. Pocket. Keys. All in the pocket with the phone. Good luck, phone. Now, the Gorilla Glass, I have uh, had this phone in my pocket. I've had this phone um, with a load of keys in my pocket uh, for a couple of school runs. It's been jangled around with the, with the keys for a couple of hours. Um, it's had toffees all over the screen. It's got a bit messed up. So I'm gonna give it a good wipe with this cloth, polish the screen up and see whether there are any marks. I think the back's taken a few marks, but I don't think the screen's suffered too badly. Well, actually, I'm very surprised because the back of the phone has survived being in my pocket with keys quite well. There are just a couple of tiny little marks up here, you can see. But overall, I think that's done very well. What about the screen? Well, there was no screen protector on this phone, and uh, it seems to have survived very well. That's a, a hair on the phone there. There we go. It seems to have survived this very well. There is not a scratch on the screen, not a mark on it. So uh, their Gorilla 3 Glass claim seems to be borne out here. The phone does have a very tough screen that is very scratch resistant. And in fact, uh, previous Samsung and Motorola and HTC phones that I have owned have all got scratched, having less severe treatment than I put this phone through yesterday and today. So that seems to be a very tough phone. Now the next stage in our test involves one of these, and you might wonder what I'm doing with a waterproof camera. Well, the Moto G is supposed to have a nano-coated set of electronics inside, and so I am going to test this theory by dropping the phone in the sink. Um, I'm going to put the Hero camera on in the water. I'm also going to put the camera on the phone on, and I will video it with this camera as well from outside. So we should get a, a genuine view of the phone going into the sink, getting wet, being taken out. It's going to be a real life scenario. What might happen if you were washing up and you dropped your phone in the sink? Or well, some people often drop their phone in the toilet. It's a, a common insurance claim. So if this phone truly does have nano-coated electronics and they are water repellent, it should survive. I don't know if the camera will survive, but the phone should come out of it working still. So real life test, dropping it in some water and uh, we'll see what happens. This is the Motorola Moto G drop it in the sink test. Ready? Here we go. It seems to have survived. I'm leaving it in there for a few minutes as well. So, uh, that's had 30 seconds in the water. Let's take it out, shake it off. Well, it seems to have survived that just fine, doesn't it? I'll give it a wipe down and we'll come back to it in a second. Still running. Amazing. Okay, so the capacitive screen's not happy with that. There we go. And it all seems to be working just fine. Would you believe it? Okay, so the phone's just come out of the sink after its uh, dunk test, or soak test, if you will. 
Um, I'm now going to take the back off and the re recommended method here is to press the, press the little depression in the back and pull at the USB port. And you can see there's quite a lot of water in there. You know, it's, uh, it's not exactly dry, it has got wet. So we'll give it a quick wipe inside because we don't want to leave the water on the electronics. And inside the back of the case, you can see there's still quite a bit of water. But the phone is, in all, in all respects, it seems to be working perfectly. It has survived, beautifully, the uh, soak test. And uh, it's still working. So, lucky winner, if you like and subscribe to my channel, you can win this phone. One winner will get this very phone that has survived being dropped in the sink and the next test I'm about to do is the drive over test and I'm going to assemble this phone and put it under the wheels of my car and drive over it and uh, I, I wonder will it survive that? Please see my video tomorrow